investigation of the Carmichael T cell therapy administered into patients with advanced T cell lymphoma. So the, the previous uh, group was on chronic lymphocytic leukemias and acute lymphocytic leukemias. Here we have data uh, that's going to include lymphomas. And this results provide evidence that these patients whose disease also was untreatable can achieve a complete remission. And the data can be found in abstract number 168, number 168.
progression, I mean, she was had progressive disease like a month after the chemotherapy ended, so she was clearly tumor aggressive. She had a good response to mediastinal, in her mediastinal to X-ray therapy, but she still had progressive disease in her liver and other abnormal areas. Um, we treated her with Fluvarabine, cyclophosphamide, as I noted before, and infused 2.5 times 10 to 6 heart positive T cells per kilogram. She's now in big remission nine months after therapy, and I'll show you her PET CT scan showing you the response. Um, you can see here the yellow areas are areas of lymphoma in her liver, and also another abdominal mass here. Nine months later, there's no enhanced metabolic activity showing a, an eradication of the lymphoma in her liver. So this patient is, um, she had some acute toxicity during the treatment. She had hypotension. She had some delirium. Um, she was sick for about a week, but then recovered fully. Another thing about this therapy is amazing. The patients do become sick. We previously published that the toxicity correlates with serum cytokine level. They recover very quickly. Within, they can go from being incredibly ill to completely feeling almost normal within two days. She's now been living at home, um, doing her normal life with no problems now for the past several months. So that's just one example. And we have certain more um, examples like that which we can I'll present more tomorrow. The overall conclusions, we treated 15 patients, including non patients Large cell lymphomas by administering chemotherapy followed by NFP mentioned CAR T cells. Toxicity, including hypotension and neurological toxicity, necessitated a reduction in cell dose from 5 times 10 to the 6 per kilogram to 1 times 10 to the 6 per kilogram. As I mentioned, we have that toxicity. Hypotension is one main toxicity, another main toxicity is neurological toxicity, including delirium, aphasia, which is an inability to speak, which inexplicably happened to three of our patients, and we don't really have that. Because this is, as I said, very transient and lasts a few days and goes away from 